Hey guys, what's up? Today I have an NU match, and uh, in this one I'm going to use uh, my Waylord as my lead because I figure, you know, he's going to lose Gigalith, and if Charizard's not Scarfed, I'm faster than that too because I'm Scarfed, um, and I can, you know, I, I'm going to have to 2 it KO Gigalith, but he's probably going to go for the Stealth Rock or something. If he explodes or whatever on the first turn, eh. But uh, he's actually going to leave with the Viper, which... So Viper's a pretty cool Pokemon, and it does have 100 in both offenses. It does get Sucker Punch, but I don't really like a physical Viper because I feel Arbok is kind of more superior because it does get Coil, uh, as well as, like, you know, Sucker Punch, and, and th basically the same moves. It's just, it's more of a bulkier thing. I don't, I don't know, I don't like it. It's not, it's just not fast enough, Viper, to really, like, it's like, what, 60 or 70 speed? It's, I don't know. But uh, he hits me with the Sucker Punch, which I was not expecting. I'm going to switch up to Wormadam to take, you know, the Sucker Punch or the Poison move, whatever. But he actually goes for the Giga Drain. I do Shudder in anticipation. I After seeing the Giga Drain, I was expecting Flamethrower anyways. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and switch out. I could protect, but I don't want to show him that I have it yet. It's just like, it's like 2 HP, whatever. Not a big deal. So I'm going to switch out to Taria. He's going to go for the Flamethrower, and uh, he's going to live it, unfortunately. Well, live the you know, Life Orb recoil, but... Eh. Anyways, so he's gonna go for the poison jab. I'm just gonna roost because I know he's gonna like. Well, I was expecting him to go for the uh, sludge wave or sludge bomb, whatever one it gets, uh, and you know that would have done just about as much because I'm especially defensive, and I'm pretty sure he's especially offensive. So you know it's uh, whatever. He's mixed. Um, so I'm gonna switch to Rumadan, and uh, he's gonna switch to his Gigalith and go for the rocks. Which, I'm, I'm okay with. I'm going to go for the Stealth Rock myself. He's going to switch to his Charizard because he doesn't want to let me get Stealth Rocks up and then have the Charizard come in on Stealth Rock. I'm going to think he's going to overpredict here. Like, Fire Blast is too obvious, and I do have Altaria to resist that, so I'm thinking he's going to want to go for the Air Slash. And uh, that's exactly what happens. He does overpredict, and I get a Toxic off on him, which is excellent because now I can go for the Protect. Recover a little bit of extra HP with the leftovers, and you know he can't do anything to me, obviously, and he's also going to take more toxic damage, etc., etc., etc. Now here, I probably should have switched out, but because he's locked in, because you know that damage is like scarf damage, uh, locked into Air Slash, I'm like, eh, I might as well just stay in. But uh, I really should have switched out, but I wouldn't have switched out to something for Licky Licky anyways. I could have also toxic again, but I figured he'd have Heal Bell, so eh, whatever. But he's going to go for the Seismic Talk instead of the Heal Bell as I go for the Toxic now, uh, because I thought he'd Heal Bell first, and then I'd Toxic him after, and then he'd have to Heal Bell again, because the thing is, when someone has Heal Bell, yeah, it's there, but if you can force them to use it every time you Toxic them, you have twice as much PP as they do, and you can, like, PP stall their Heal Bell, so they have to be careful with that. Um... But yeah, because he's not using it and he uses Wish now, I'm thinking he does not have Heal Bell, which is a little odd, but anyways, I'm going to go to Behem, which is a, a great Pokemon. I figured he'd go to Absol, because that's, you know, Behem's... The only set for Behem on Smogon is actually a Trick Room Nasty Plot set, and, uh, you know, if I did Trick Room, then he could easily just Sucker Punch and stuff. So I'm going to go for the Thunderbolt, which is kind of dumb, because he does have the Wish, so I'm like... Uh, I thought maybe I could kill him, but I'm defensive, so no. Even with Analytic, I'm still not going to kill him. But, uh, yeah, so I'm going to switch out to Skuntank here. I was hoping he'd go for Sucker Punch, but he is just going to go for the Night Slash. I mean, some Absoles don't even have Night Slash. They prefer to have, like, you know, Sword Stand, Sucker Punch, Super Power, and, like, Psycho Cut or Mega Horn or something like that. But, uh, he does. I leave it anyways. I'm going to go for the Sucker Punch. That's pretty easily going to take him out. It does around 40%. And, uh, yeah, so now he's dead. He's not a problem anymore. It's going to go into his Gigalith. I'm going to switch to Wormadam. Um, a eh, bit of a bad choice, but you'll see why later. Um, he's going to go for the Rock Blast, and that's actually going to 2 it KO me. And he is faster than me because I do have zero speed IVs and a relaxed nature because of Darball being my attack. Uh, he's going to get, you know, three hits twice, or, well... That second time, you could have gotten five, but it stops at three. Anyways, at least three hits twice, which is uh, kind of annoying, but anyways, whatever. So he ends up killing me. I'm going to go to Waylord, because I can. And uh, I'm going to go for the Surf. And I haven't actually used Water Spelt this entire game, which is kind of weird. But, eh, whatever. So Surf, and uh, I figure, yeah, he's probably going to Wish, but like might as well just stay in and keep Surfing him that way. Like, if he does wish, he's taking extra toxic damage, and, like, he's not going to really be able to kill me, and if he does go to Seismic Toss, not a big, huge deal. But I end up getting a crit and killing him, so, you know, he's dead. Uh, he goes into Charizard. I, like I said, no, it's Scarf, so I'm going to switch to Behem. 
and he's actually going to, uh, you know, predict me to stay in and go for the HP Grass, which is a little weird. He probably should have just went for the Air Slash. That most likely would have killed. I mean, it's like pretty close. It's 105, or well, well, 10 like seven or something. 107.5 versus like 140, so it's. Eh. But he's going for HP Grass. He does get a crit first time, which doesn't matter because he doesn't get a crit the second time, and I can recover and, you know, start calm minding up because he's toxic and I know he's locked into his weakest move and he can't really do anything. Well, I mean, if he has Focus Blast, that's weaker because of effectiveness, but you know what I mean. So I calm mind and uh, he's going to expire from toxic. I kind of wish he had more health. Um, because I could, you know, take more advantage of it, but, eh, whatever. He's gonna go into a Gigalith, and this Behem is actually similar to my, um, Ormadam in that it has zero speed IVs. Uh, I think it's just modest, though, but, like, not, um, I don't even know what the brave equivalent would be. But anyways, because it has analytics, so I want it to be slow, so it goes faster, or so it goes last, so that it has stronger attack. But, uh, unfortunately, he has Toxic on his Gigalith, which... I don't usually see. I mean, usually it's like Rock Blaster, Stone Edge, Earthquake, Stealth Rock, and Explosion. But he has Toxic, and I'm like, shit. Because the thing is that, yeah, I do have Heal Bill on my Altaria, but in order for me to use it, I have to switch. And by the time I come back in, he's going to have Calm Minds up, uh, which sucks that he's actually this like exact same set I am, because I was hoping he'd be Trick Room, and because that would be fine, because the same reason he was hoping I'd be Trick Room with his Absol, I have Sucker Punch too, and that would be absolutely no problem. But unfortunately, he, like I said, the exact same set I am, and I'm dying to Toxic. So even if I do switch out right away, like by the time I come back in, he's going to have at least one, probably two Calm Minds. And another problem is the uh, secondary attack he has. I have Psy Shock, he has Psychic, whatever, doesn't matter. But he, instead of having Thunderbolt, has Shadow Ball, which means that I lose no matter what. Like, I can't be... Like, if we were both, like, plus six, sure, Psyshock would probably do a little more than Shadow Ball, maybe? But, um... Yeah, so I switch to my Skun Tank. I thought he'd want to just keep setting up because I'm toxic and sort of do what I did to his Charizard. Unfortunately, he goes for Shadow Ball, and, well, I mean... Yeah, so I end up dying, and I can't Sucker Punch him. I'm gonna go to my Swillow and U-Turn, and that does, like, nothing... But he's going to recover. So what I should have done, really, probably my only chance to win would have been to stay in, go for, like, the facade, predict the recover, he recovers, and then hope that a guts boosted, you know, status boosted gut, or not guts, um, facade, like, all that power stuff actually allows me to oko him, essentially, or not even oko him, but, like, do enough so that if he does recover, it kill me, but I don't think if I had, you know, guts boost, he would recover, he'd probably just psychic me, because he probably could take it. It would be close. I mean, U-turn didn't, did about half, so I don't know if, you know, facade, the fully boosted facade would kill, but it would be close, but otherwise, like I said, he has Shadow Ball, and my behem is way too low health for that to matter anyways, and mine's like zero speed IV, so I'm definitely slow, or he seems to be like a, just a normal one. Um, and, uh, yeah, there's really nothing I can do, so I'm just gonna go ahead and sort of run. Uh, if, I, if my Swallow had Guts activated already, that might have worked out, or if I didn't switch into my Skun Tank at the time he was using Shadow Ball, that might have also worked out. Like, I, I don't know why he used Shadow Ball. He could have just used that time to set up on me. I mean, I was doing, like, no damage, so that was kind of weird of him, but, you know, ends up not working out too well. And he was like, oh, why did you run? And I'm like, I don't know why people ask that question. Like, can they not, like, realize when a battle is over? Like, I have an Altaria with, you know, Dragon Pulse and Whirlwind, but I can't use because he has one Pokemon left. Um, an almost dead and slower Behem, and then my Swellow, which will be at half health and can't kill him because I don't have my Guts Boost and everything like that. So it's like... I don't know. Um... And uh, that's why I said earlier, when my Wormadam died, I'm like, if I had kept him, I could have toxic him, and that would have probably worked, because he has Psychic and Shadow Ball, and that wouldn't be killing me. So I could toxic him, and then stall him out with Altaria a bit, and stuff like that, so, eh. And, you know, the fact that his Gigalith had Toxic too really kind of screwed me over, so. Either way, you know, eh, it was a good match, and uh, a perfect example of why Behem, as a defensive set, even though Smogon says, oh, it doesn't work, you know, it's not bulky enough for recover, it has 75, 75, 95 defenses. It's fairly bulky. I mean, it's not the biggest 
defensive threat ever, but, I mean, it's essentially, you know, like, the same thing you would do with, like, a Mesprit or, or a Muck with Curse or something like that, or an Arbok, as I was talking about. So, I like it. It works. Um, and that free life orb with Analytic is, is really great. So, either way, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the battle, and I'll see you all next time.